Our heart is the main organ of the cardiovascular system. It is a network of blood vessels that pumps blood throughout your body. It is the first fully formed organ in the human body. Heart attack deaths among young people have greatly increased globally, more so in India. People in the age group of 25 to 44 saw a 30% increase in heart attack deaths. Routine heart health screenings are an important part of preventive healthcare for adults. Starting around age 20, or in some cases earlier. Your doctor will likely advise you to get several screening tests on a regular basis. The eight most common medical tests to diagnose heart conditions are outlined in this video. Number 1, blood test is always a preliminary test. In blood tests, your blood sample is taken from a vein in your arm. A laboratory then tests it and sends the results to your doctor, who will explain the results to you. Blood tests are also done to measure the level of sugar and other substances in your blood, such as blood fats, cholesterol, triglycerides, vitamins, and minerals. Number 2, electrocardiogram or ECG. It reads your heart's electrical impulses. It shows how well your heart is beating. Small sticky dots and wire leads are put on your chest, arms, and legs. The leads are attached to an ECG machine which records the electrical impulses and prints them out on paper. Your doctor may use an ECG to diagnose a heart attack or abnormal heart rhythms. Number 3, Exercise Stress Test is a stress test. Sometimes called a treadmill, it is a type of ECG that is done while you are exercising. It helps your doctor to find out how well your heart works when you are physically active. Number 4, Echocardiogram or Ultrasound Test. An echocardiogram is a common test. It gives a picture of your heart using ultrasound, a type of x-ray. It uses a probe either on your chest or down your esophagus or throat. It helps your doctor check if there are any problems with your heart's valves and chambers, and see how strongly your heart pumps blood. Number 5. Nuclear Cardiac Stress Test. This test is sometimes called an exercise thallium scan, a dual isotope treadmill, or an exercise nuclear scan. A radioactive substance called a tracer is injected into your bloodstream. It goes to your heart and releases energy. Special cameras take a picture of this energy from outside your body. Your doctor uses this picture to see how much blood flows to your heart muscle and how well your heart pumps blood when you are resting and doing physical activity. This test also helps your doctor to see if your heart muscle is damaged. Number 6 coronary angiogram. A coronary angiogram, sometimes called cardiac catheterization, may be done after a heart attack or angina. A catheter, a small tube is put into an artery in your groin, arm or wrist. The catheter is moved up inside the artery until it reaches your heart. A special dye is injected into your coronary arteries and an x-ray is taken. The X-ray shows your doctor where and how much your coronary arteries are clogged or blocked. It also shows how well your heart is pumping. Coronary angiograms help your doctor decide the best treatment for you. Number 7, Magnetic Resonance Imaging or MRI. This technique uses very strong magnets and radio waves to create detailed images of your heart on a computer. It can take still or moving pictures of your heart. Sometimes a special dye is used to make parts of the heart and coronary arteries easier to see. This test shows your doctor the structure of your heart and how well it is working, so they can decide the best treatment for you. Number 8. Coronary Computed Tomography Angiogram or CT Scan This is a specialized type of computed tomography scan that may be used to help diagnose coronary artery disease. It is a non-invasive test for people who may be experiencing unusual cardiac symptoms. 
you must get your health checkup regularly under the guidance of a doctor. Before going for any test, please consult a qualified doctor.